tops off every round, but Golovkin finishes it. And usually with judges, they, they remember the last part of the round. It's gonna be very difficult to score. Will it be round 13 of the first fight, or will it be round one of a different fight? With the jabs, by far his weapon in the first fight. Sit with his right glove and fires a couple more jabs. Body shot by Kim. Already not giving up much ground, Jim, like he did in the first fight. He's coming out being more aggressive. Oh, conscious of that. Normally. This is attack. And Golovkin's thrown a power shot. 13 to go in the round. And Golovkin back just a little bit. Jabs upstairs. Of now there's a good one by Canelo. Tactical fight early on. But with Canelo. That's exactly what he wants, Jim. He, this is playing right into Golovkin's favor. I would now Canelo didn't come out and talk like this in the first Only fight. 10 seconds left in a tactical round. Golovkin again oh, no, no, no. snaps Canelo's head back bell, with bell, a jab. Campana. Maverick Carter. And now we go to round two. I titled the first round Respect. They showed enormous respect for each other. Gentlemen differs with me and gives the first round to Canelo Alvarez. Yes. Love can, can win a tactical round. We saw in the first fight, Canelo was, had to be more aggressive. This continues as we go into round two. Lovkin's right eye. Yes, from the hook. Lovkin with the deep amateur in the Olympics, a dominant international. Have the skills to control the fight. Yes, he does, but oh, oh this oh, shot. Left hook by Canelo. So Canelo landing a meaningful power shot. Still a little heavier on that front foot. It's not that Golovkin can't box in the middle of the ring. It's why he, he wants Canelo comfortable. Not giving him in the ground so he can't. Canelo back if Canelo will back. Wait, who's the hooker here? Canelo. By far, he's got a hook to the head. But Triple G has a big hook too. Don't get it wrong. Cut over his right eye. It looks Triple G. A good body shot. Our, our, our Triple G opens up and throws some power shots. Good job. Canelo wants Canelo power shot. Ducks under another shot. Oh, good shot. Canelo with a five to nothing A. Good hook. Left man. hook lands for Triple G. And oh. another one. Two heavy handed guys exchanging. <laughs> real. Jabbing here to try to put the round away. But Canelo's landed some hard shots ah. in center ring as they can clearly landed more. Can't, I don't know if it's flowing, but. The right. Talked to the fighter and did nothing with him. He's giving him too much respect because he doesn't, Golovkin can't seem to do nothing about it yet. Body shot by Canelo. He continues to lead in that category. Disciplines aggressive fighters because it's not just that he counters, he counters with. He puts shock on those punches, man. Good try, Triple G. Golovkin throwing and landing more now. Ten more landed. But Canelo had success. In He's definitely more aggressive. He's leaning on his front foot. He's not backed up. Triple G hasn't really left hook missed. He's back with the second one and grazes Canelo. That's Triple it. G is letting his hands go more than in the first fall. Roy, you wonder what hard already, Max. He's not really used to that heaven to him. Oh, the Canelo lands some good body shot. But you see the margin by long haul. Agreed. And it's something that Triple G must have felt he needed to do more of in this fight, but he isn't doing it. Canelo's winning the story of the fight so far. However, you have the round scored. While Triple G is winning the CompuBox. Can you imagine a 29, 28, two rounds to one, Canelo Alvarez. Jim, I thought Canelo was stronger, landed the hard so If one of the judges had it going the other, Alvarez, very, very close. Couple of attempted right hands for Golovkin. Count. He hadn't been throwing as many as his punches clean. They tend to be straight punches. Canelo's landing the crooked punches clean. Amazing chin. Amazing chin, but Triple G is using a very good jab. That's giving him a little bit of an advantage. These are just dead. He's got all the, and there's a body shot for Triple G. That's what he needs. His comfortable fight. Doing a good job of winning the fight with that jab, though. Then Canelo, partially because Canelo's making it. But so far, guys, with momentum, he's not put his punches together. He has isolated moments, and then Canelo comes back and counters. It's not like it's the first round. Oh, good shot. Right body shot by a big body shot in a fight like this. The other guy comes right back with his body shot. Triple G did not. Ending a stiff jackhammer jab. Canelo's girlfriend and daughter at ringside.
And now we go to round five of the schedule. 23 more total punches. He has thrown 80 more. And I think Canelo has a little cut on over his. I saw him working on in the corner. Triple G had the red spot over the right eye. And now ends his jab right on the left eye of Canelo. Blood on his beard from that cut. I mean, tears away from Canelo. But he's getting. Canelo doing something. He's constantly stalking him like that. To change the momentum of this fight. He is fading fast. That's profile we saw so much of in the Canelo stayed in the center Mexico. going Canelo and forcing said, Triple G to work for the knockout since his camp opened and he is fighting like he trained there Triple G looked like he's fading a little bit Max he's not feeling comfortable when he's fighting on the everybody has to be careful good body shots he's at him and he banged you with two good body shots still the body attack seems but he lands his jab continuous and it's all about it Canelo wasn't fighting enough in the first fight. He said he hopes Canelo brings it for the fans, for boxing. Exactly what they wanted him to do, tripled throughout. And Canelo's just going to get better because he's used to fight like this, man. Good for the left hand by Canelo. Yes. And the jab is probably was cut over the left eye in two previous fights. In the fight, in your eyes, Max, Harold Letterman has Golovkin up three rounds to two. The fight necessarily is that he that's what Canelo does. Back right up. hand that lands from behind, throwing as many punches in this round. Left hook over the top for Golovkin. Canelo reaching with the right hand. Left foot to the body. Look. Okay. Did Triple G take before he started to break. Oh, but he got to be kept head off of that. That's what Canelo's working on. Left hook to Golovkin. And Canelo came back with an uppercut of his own. And Triple G saw a rematch. He pretty much blocking that body for Golovkin. Man, for both of them. The fight but though, it's man. not his fight. Nello who's dictating the fight. Canelo used to fight. One of the first rounds in which Canelo had edge and landed box. 17 up. seconds to See go. See that, guys? Triple yep. G way getting hit, and Triple G is get up and used to the contact and egging Canelo on. Any time, Max, because he's not used to this stop. Canelo has had several of these kind of fights. On the monitor. Still extremely popular everywhere he goes. Harold Letterman, how did you score the first six rounds of the fight? Okay, Jim, I got it three rounds apiece. I got it all even, 50-57 fight, Jim. Uh, I gave rounds three, four, and five. Let me see. Three, four, and five to Gennady Golovkin. But uh, I thought Canelo came back and wants to tie it up. I've got Evan. Round six was a round in which Canelo landed more. Canelo, Canelo continues to throw body shots. Then Golovkin. To win the story of the fight, Roy, after all, a pretty in good indication to do. Max, if he outstalks, if he stalks Triple G, they're going to give Triple G this decision. And completely out of his game. He, brought it, he beat him back and up and had his way one. This type of fight, he's forcing it way when he wants it. There's no way they're going to he's not. He's looking for the knockout, which is a... <laughs> Clearly, to this point... Hard... Canelo willing to take a lot about Canelo Alvarez. But he said that he was going to, it's rare that before a big fight like this, says he's going to do something what he says he's going to do. Canelo said he's going to take, even though it was Triple G most felt needed to take more fight, Canelo has taken those risks. And whether he wins or meant exactly what I thought he meant to do tonight, ain't nothing able that nobody else can do about it. Right, 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 but he is on. Upper four, Canelo, I mean, for Triple G. Triple G is used to like that and then walking to the neutral corner as the guy falls. Canelo and corner and tell Triple G, hey, we're losing here. So that's the way Abel Sanchez sees it. A clear sign he's trying to motivate the open up and take more risks and hard shots in the second half of the fight. It's like I told Max, Abel Sanchez knows that fighting, if they go to 12 rounds like this, there's no way with Triple G that decision. And for what it's worth, Harold Letterman gave the round to Golovkin. This fight that I see is that Canelo trusts his beard. He believes he can take Triple G shots, so land his own. Become the hunter. The stalker. Hard right hand by Canelo. And Abel Sanchez is right. going to have to take more as his power quotient is going up from around. Better believe it. Hard jab. But out. And Triple G level, oh, he's determined and dicks on right now. He's landing the punishing shots too, right, for the most part. They're both landing punishing shots. But Canelo is the guy you'd rather be in. Body shots are devastating. And increasingly, it looks to me like Golovkin's going to have to leave one of those iconic for us in order to win that fight. He's taking a lot of down. And you know, you, well, you might not, but in boxing, it takes just. 
I think two things are possible, Max. Ida Golovkin does not have the kind of power he had through most of his career that Canelo Alvarez brings. You take nothing away from guest Daniel Jacobs when it appeared. Haters. Right hand. Hard. Canelo will, I mean, Triple G will stood the test, so let's see what happens now. No, 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 the cut opened up over Alvarez's left eye, too. Hard right, right hand for Golovkin. He needed that punch. They did. Rick. Triple G came up with more offense in that round. He took He's landing left. more punches and significantly more jabs. Harold Letterman now has Golovkin sneaking ahead on his scorecard by a point. I'm surprised by that. So Triple G landed more. His punches seem to at the end of the round. Yeah, it would seem like Triple G's favor. And Abel Sanchez said he was pleased with the round. I think he was pleased because his fighter took a little bit. First round, I seen that he had control of the fight. Triple G with that stiff jab. Oh. Now lands a right hand again. Canelo comes back with his counter shots. Lands a right hand over the top. Triple G comes right back, firing with energy. Both guys looking to end this fight right now. Uh, great shots at center ring. This jab. Right hand lead for Canelo. Triple G trying to get a little. Brilliant fighters. The banger became the boxer. And Canelo takes a moment off. Uh, to get Canelo in trouble of putting the work to the body. He's very tired. Actually, Can uh, Canelo is making it work right now. On purpose to make it to the a late round burst. In the first fight, it was just the late round burst. He'd do it again and put the fight away. Career on the line. Some here. And restore the leg. Only a few moves to see. Good body shot. Uh, right hand by Canelo Alvarez with his own right hand. So now Alvarez at 30 seconds to go. Big left hook for Golovkin. See, those Andre. Triple G shots are starting to move Canelo a little more than they did, even as judges score blood, too. Triple G on the attack. Looking at the blood. I can make that blow. Good to Golovkin. Ten seconds. A straight right hand lands. He got in the last shot. Yeah, he did. Another classic middleweight prize fight. I have no idea. <laughs> I got an 87, 84, six rounds to three, Gennady Golovkin. Jim, this fight is really, really close. Yeah, I've got a six to three Golovkin, but if any of the judges had it the, uh, the opposite way, I wouldn't argue, because each round is close. I mean, they're standing in the middle of the ring, banging on each other. Very, very close round. I've got a six to three, Gennady Golovkin. Andre Ray right. Ward against Sergey Kovalev. Ward was winning the story of the fight, even as Gut Fighter closed the show and knocked his guy. It's so difficult to fight the score. I could very easily see a judge. These next three rounds, rounds to three, just the way Harold has Golovkin up six rounds. This and nobody goes down. He could go for the stoppage, but then Golovkin comes through with shots and like that. Two hard power shots. And it's easy to see us with another rematch with a fight number three. Let's see if Triple G still has the magic. Suddenly has Canelo standing still and momentarily in trouble. That was the most hurt Canelo has been in any moment against Gennady Golovkin. Canelo looked hurt by that, but he's firing back. He did look hurt. Lasted a few seconds. And now Can gets in a right hand. Triple landing Triple G again. Hard body shot by Canelo. So Triple much the story it. of the fight. Rallies when the guy's been working your body. The rally like that one. Harder to sustain since the opening round. Yes, sir. Another hard right. The straight right hand lands again. Canelo, that rally by Triple G that momentarily <laughs> is that when judges score this rally wobbled. There's a the body, body shot. shot. Finally. Another body shot. Like it meant it. Triple G looking Pushing with the right hand. Really from upstairs, meantime. Good hook by Triple G. Great hook. Body shot for Canelo. What a chin on both of them. Spectacular. Gennady Golovkin appears to have won the title. <laughs> 10th round when most he needed it. way back in to the point where it looks like he could change the outcome of this fight. Yes, he has. No, 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 and he's stop, done stop. it by the risk. He's done it by plumb the line. But we must... There are writers at Ringo ahead in the fight. In, in boxing. Meantime, the first fight was great. This one's... That he had through much of the middle of the last fight. 
And now he was, but not scored those Maverick. when he hits them the way he's hit Can Canelo. And G upstairs is the best punch of the fight. Yes, it is. Saved his career. Yes, it is. Career needs a win. How is Canelo coming forward throwing power shots? He's, he's real Mexican style for real. A this minute is, left in the round, still on the table. Triple G fighting a beautiful. This time, Triple G blocked the burn at scene. Couldn't miss or couldn't get the right hand home. In the latter part of the fight, able to land combinations and limit out. And there's a hard left. Triple G. And a hard right uppercut by Ab Another good right hand. Ten seconds to go in the 11th round. Good right hand. From Alvarez. Not blocking it. Second half seemed to belong to Alvarez. Set, son. Breathe. Come on. We're over the second half of this fight. Triple G has landed big power shots upstairs. Uppercut for Golovkin. Knocking Alvarez's head back. He's off to a great start in the closing round. Somehow, Gennady's last three rounds. You, you, you can't say enough about G's been there like a wing his way back into this fight and rocking Canelo. Talk about big drama show. This has been a drama show. Golovkin throwing and throwing. Alvarez lands. It's a pier six ball. They come. A minute and a half to go. Alvarez fighting as though he believes he needs a knockout. No punch, no punch. Great fighters can do this, ladies and gentlemen. Middleweight greats. Certainly the greatest middleweights of this era. Much by both tonight. Less than a minute to go. Who have to love get in the middle of a... Being mid busy in the center of the room. They trade uppercuts. Left hook half lands for Alvarez. Both fighters dead tight. Exhausted on 10 seconds. Who gets the last? Golovkin with a right hand. <laughs> Try to catch their breath after a netic closing portion of the fight. See Canelo giving a fake jab and a lead left hook right there because Canelo, I mean, Triple G thought the, hook, the jab was coming. He went for the jab, and Canelo landed the best hook. You see Triple G coming in, throwing a good up jab that was probably one of his best straight on punches of the night. Max, I'm going to tell you about this uppercut right here. See this uppercut, Triple, Triple G lands. Yep. Watch the body shot that he missed. Five Triple G showing a beautiful jab right there against Canelo. Right there on that cut, missed it with the hook. But then Canelo's right, uh, overhand right, boom, right there on the eye of Triple G. So Ladies G and gentlemen, G after 12 toe-to-toe -to -toe rounds of boxing, we go to the judges' scorecard. And here are the judges' scoring totals. Glenn Feldman scores this bout even, 114-114. Judge Dave Moretti and Steve Weisfeld have it 115 113. Your winner by majority decision and new WBC.